I don't think there have been enough head-to-head -head trials uh, that could allow anybody to make this definitive answer. There was one trial, a very interesting trial that came out of uh, England that was a head-to-head -head study and that looked at an inhaled beta agonist long-acting versus an inhaled uh, muscarinic antagonist uh, long-acting. And these are two standard forms of treatment that we give to COPD. So the obvious question years ago was, well, which is best? Should we give the beta agonist or should we give the uh, anticholinergic muscarinic antagonist? Uh, the study's uh, endpoint was exacerbations. Again, again, another very important outcome in COPD. We know that exacerbations, for example, uh, have uh, uh, poor outcomes with respect to uh, lung function over time, with respect to quality of life over time, with respect to mortality. So we want to avoid exacerbations. So this head-to-head -head trial uh, looked at these two agents, the long-acting beta agonist, the long-acting muscarinic antagonist. And they looked at exacerbations and found no difference. The head-to-head -head trial showed they were both equally effective in preventing these exacerbations. 